Pastor Allen again. I'm going to talk today on the final portion on the subject, Are We Under Grace, Under the Law or Under Grace? And this is going to be a short video, and I'll be finished with this topic. And how about the verse after verse 15, continuing from where I left off, which states that grace is not a license to continue in sin. Romans chapter 6, verse 16. Know you not that to whom ye yield yourself servants to obey, his servants ye are to whom you obey whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. See, see, it says right here, if you obey the sin, the God of this world, the Bible says the God of the children of disobedience, the spirit that worketh in the children of disobedience, if we are under sin, we are under the God of this world and not the God of heaven. And if we continue that, then... We are guilty. The Bible talks about if you go against one of the law, you have went against them all. And it says that to whom you yield your members to be servants, that's who you obey. And if you yield your members to sin, you do not obey God. You obey sin. And if you try to come back to the throne of grace, after continually sinning, God will reject you because it becomes iniquity in your heart. And it tells you consistently in the Bible what to do and how to go about using the grace that has been, that has been delivered unto us through the death of Jesus Christ. But we continually listen to these false teachers who constantly tell us that we're not under grace. I mean, we're not under the law, but under grace. But they always tell you you're not under the law. But the first thing they pull up is they say tithes and offering. If you're not if you're not paying your tithes and offering, you're under a curse. They'll tell you you curse with a curse. They'll, they'll strip you completely down with tithes and offering and money and giving, which was listed under the law. The Bible says that, Abraham paid tithes to Melchizedek. That was under the law. And Malachi says, bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse where there'll be meat in mine house. That's under the law. So why is it that we have so many preachers and so many teachers who constantly say we're not under the law, but then they're constantly chastising the people with the law and say, if you don't do this, this is what's going to happen. They keep telling you, don't commit adultery. Don't murder. Don't steal. Don't do all these different things. Don't bear false witness. All these different things that the Bible says under the law. But the main thing that they're trying to push today is financial giving. Pay your tithes. Pay your tithes. The Bible says you're cursed with a curse. And you have robbed me. And it says, how have we robbed thee in tithes and offering? And you robbed not just me. You robbed the whole nation. They will chastise the whole church about tithes and offering. So that way they could fly around on jets and have million dollar houses and Rolls Royces and all this different stuff. And the people are sitting here being fooled by this trickery because they don't know the word of God. And once you learn the word of God and know the word of God for yourself, you'll see a false prophet and a false teacher from a mile away. Let me continue. So what does one choose to continue in sin unto death? or to obey the law, that is, obedience unto righteousness. An easy choice for those who truly love God and desire to spend eternity with Him and have access to the tree of life. Revelations chapter 22 verse 14 states, Blessed are they that do His commandments, that they may have a right to the tree of life and may enter through the gates into the city. Paul's words are clear and simple in that being under grace does not mean we can continue to sin, which is transgression of the law. We have to realize that when we continue in sin and continue to transgress the law, God will 
make sure that we pay the penalty of the law. And he will make sure that we will have just due for violation of his law because God gave so many different penalties that we will receive. It's not if and or but we will receive it. But a lot of people think that, well, because they go to the throne of grace and receive forgiveness, that they will not receive the penalty. But the Bible is strictly specific on what it's going to do. And it's going to do it regardless the way we feel about it and regardless how we think about it. We've got to continue to listen to the word. The page on the page on Saved by Grace Alone reveals that we still uphold the law in reading the Ten Commandments and it shows that Jesus said he did not come to destroy the law and that we are not only to obey it, but to teach it also. The scripture remains consistent without contradiction. See, when Jesus said he comes, he did not come to destroy the law. He came that the law be fulfilled. He taught the law continuously, and he taught the people continuously about the law. And that's what we are supposed to do in these last and evil days. We're supposed to teach the people the laws of God, not just grace. We're supposed to teach the people the laws of God so they can know when they're going wrong, when they're errant, because the Bible says that the people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. And because you are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, we have so many people perishing because they thought that what they were doing was correct and it was an error because they were ignorant to the word of God. And I'm going to stop right now and may God be with you. The king is coming.